Hello, hello, hello. How are we doing? Hi. <laughs> hello. Okay. So this been quite a struggle. I've Not been. You sound like that. <laughs> what? <laughs> I got into speaking. Oh my God, I'm blushing right now. Oh my God. Are you? Oh my goodness. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> Is it really? Wow. No. <laughs> Does my Ooh, voice do something for you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my God, it's so cold in here. Woo. <laughs> I can hug you. Like, I'll warm you up. <laughs> oh my god! Stop! <laughs> uh, is this what flirting sounds like? I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh my god. Okay. okay the game I'm is listening. working, but barely. So let's figure Yay! this out. I... <laughs> you have no idea. I swear to god. I have a sixth sense for this shit. <laughs> I... Whoop, can't cuss. Gonna have to bleep that. I, um... <laughs> I oh my God. recorded a video last night, like okay. literally last <laughs> night, saying, you know, just talking about, you know, uh, yeah, hey, guess what? Haven't made a video in a while. I'm back. What's up? <laughs> and um, <laughs> so, and it, one of the things I said in that video was like, oh, you know, I'm like, hey, the um, walking horses are coming out soon. I don't know when, but I know I'm going to have some opinions on them. And I kid you not, literally today they come out. I haven't read any spoilers or anything. I had no idea they were coming out today, and it just happened. <laughs> Did I will this into existence? Like, what? <laughs> yeah, I just so happened to, like, check. I was like, mm, I wonder if The Witcher Village is coming out soon, because it's December. I'm <laughs> yeah. waiting. I w I'm waiting. I want that deer horse. Oh my I gosh, Fonzie. The... Yes. Yes! I remember uh, last year I really, really wanted uh, the Fonzie, but I didn't have any star coins. Oh, no. <laughs> and I didn't have any money and then I was like huh you know what Rose said that the Tennessee Walkers are supposed to be coming out and so I just mm. so happened to check the SSO website and they were just there and I was like okay well now I have to let everybody know I have to let <laughs> I have to let Khalees know because oh. <laughs> it's gonna be a nightmare <laughs> uh, yeah well you see I am going to be very mature about this, and I have okay. an email chain with Star Stable about this topic, oh, actually, that I am definitely going to share. This is going to be shared. Um, I I hated every every bit of the communication. It was so, the, so The bad. passive aggressiveness in just the one paragraph that you sent to us, I was like, ooh. ooh. Exactly. Yeah, I'm like excuse me like what is this like they're, they're here acting like they know everything and do no research like that i can't the, like even i don't know that much about horses but some of the horses that they like put out i was like this does not look right <laughs> this the, just does not look right yeah that's you know i've reacted to some of them i'm obviously not going to get around to all of it but of the ones that i've talked about i've been like look this is what you did wrong this is what you did right because they do do things right i i you know i can't fault them where they've done well you speaking of that at yeah, least. speaking of like they did the snow in this very very well i have to give them props it looks fantastic it's a little oh yeah when I, logged my old in, PC, but... <laughs> when I logged in my computer is like so old well, it's not old. It just sucks. Yeah, I got gotcha. um, <laughs> I logged in, and I have a Star Stable on low, because so it yeah. will run better. Potato sandwich. And the <laughs> snow was up to, like, up to, like, the horse's literal body. I was like, um, either <laughs> my game is g glitching, or they actually did this. There's <laughs> no way they did this. Okay. One thing I would love to mention right off the bat, because I I'm at Fort Pinta right now. I uh, I'm looking at the okay. Tennessee Walker. Oh wait, let me let me meet you there. I haven't okay. bought I haven't bought the horse yet because I can't think of a name. I the was thinking Bars of Pan animations. I have to say right now, what is this? Like, <laughs> okay, um, the this is an issue not only with the Tennessee Walkers but the the American Paint Horse as well. Uh, I mm -hmm. I mentioned this in like the video that I made yesterday. That's not going to be released because now this is out. Um. <laughs> <laughs> that the yawn that they do the way they open their mouth and stick out their tongue like they stretch forward a little and stick out their tongue to the side that's a sign of pain 
uh, in horses, that that is that means they're in pain. So for them to do that as a casual animation, I don't like that. That's spreading a bad I message. I would hope that they didn't do that on purpose, and they did it because oh, haha, kids will appeal to this. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is but it like I know they they, they like probably no they did no research. They probably did it because oh, it's yawning, it's cute. But like when horses yawn, yeah, they stick out their tongue a little bit. But um, the the Yorvik wild horse, that's a prime example. That yawn is a good yawn because they the tongue is still kind of in their mouth. It's not all the way out. It's not doing that. Um, colicking. If you don't know what colicking is, it's a it's a buildup of gas in the stomach, and okay. it's very very painful, and it it leads to death most of the time. Now, if it can't get cleared, because mm-hmm. horses they do not have the ability to throw up. Horses cannot regurgitate, and because of what? that, when yeah, so because of that, when they have too much in their stomach and they can't pass it out normally, they they can't defecate normally. It builds up, and it's super super painful. They yawn, they bite at their sides, they kick, they lie down, and they get up repeatedly. Those are all telltale signs of pain. So for mm. for one of the idle animations to be yawning, that I don't agree with that. Not not in the way that they yawn, the way they stick out their tongue that far. That ah, mm. I I do not like that. Um, yeah, I didn't even notice that because yeah. I'm not a horse expertise like <laughs> you over here. <laughs> uh, not quite, but <laughs> let's um let's see the animation. So I'm looking at the walk right now. Um. Okay. Yeah, I do. I do like their walk. They're doing it in such a way where. So the reason why walking horses and gated horses are so unique, not only because they don't trot. I'm getting there. I have not clicked the next animation <laughs> yet. Um, is when they walk, they don't walk like, for example, front left, back right. They walk left side, right side, left side, right side, and because they do that and they move from side to side instead of alternating. It's very, very smooth. It never feels like they hit the ground really rough. You always feel like you're up higher. You're moving more fluently. It is so easy to sit. It is the most comfortable horse. They're the best for trail rides. Amazing movement. And Mm -hmm. they did actually capture that very well in their walk animation. Now, I swear to God, if they trot, this is all over. Okay, well, that's that's good that they at least did that. (laughs) You gotta be... You gotta be kidding me. (laughs) What? What? They trot. Okay. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, let's look at their. Lo- oh my gosh, they they do the carousel canter. That's actually a beautiful animation, and I love it. Their carousel canter. They do that in real life. I actually linked a video really? to Star Stable. Yes, they um. First of all, they named all of their animations wrong. It's walk, trot, lope, canter, gallop. Like their what they consider a gallop animation is just a normal canter. And you can do that on a horse. So I don't understand why they call it gallop and fast gallop. That is probably the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Anyway, um, moving on from them, their blatant inability to name horses. The what it what should be the lope is actually a carousel canter. They walking horses do this, but it's a lot. The, the motion is a lot slower, they pick up their head a lot higher, and they, they roll a lot more when they do it. So it's it's a start, but it's not fully there. But I do appreciate that they tried. So I, I, do, I do like that animation. It is quite nice. Now, their canter, what they consider a gallop, which is not actually a gallop, yeah, it's nice. Uh, see, what a lot of people think is that walking horses, they think they can't canter. Which isn't true. They can canter just like any other horse. It's just they don't lope. They do they do a carousel canter. Um, so that that canter animation is very nice. And then the gallop is. I've always found the the gallop is pretty whatever. That's yeah, it's pretty nice. Now yeah. there's special special movement, whatever you want to call it. But I thought I think they kind of look a little goofy. <laughs> actually, but no. I that think... is an amazing running walk. That's actually a really absolutely gorgeous running walk. Um, what I will critique though, they made their um their hocks are way too long like the they the lower part of their back leg it's mm-hmm. way too long like they walking horses they're supposed to dig really far in the back they're supposed to um be super high up in the front and dig low in the back and they're supposed to get up and go forward and like they look like they're kind of rising up on themselves this running walk doesn't really reflect that its hocks are too long and mm. um, it doesn't go far enough down in the back. But he, the way he's okay. bobbing his head looks really good. Um, 
they got the four beat walk amazing like they they did do their research with this gate and i'm very happy with it but the only thing i just i can't get over the fact they trot i'm (laughs) i'm honestly not getting one simply for the fact that they trot like that is the single and only reason i I won't get one i I would love to say this. I love when people complain because it's always so funny. <laughs> like this isn't a laughing no, matter. <laughs> you're complaining. I think it's just absolutely hilarious when people complain, especially at my school, because it'll be over like the stupidest stuff too. This is not a laughing matter. It's a game that's teaching it's kids about horses, matter. and it's, it's teaching them matter. wrong. <laughs> This is not a laughing matter, but at the same time, it is kind of a laughing matter. Shush, 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 shush. Are you still at Fort Pitson? I don't yes. think I have you friended. Bro, excuse me, this oh illegal. My. Oh my god. Where you- oh, there you are. You're literally right in front of oh, me. Oh, wait, crazy. are we on the same horse? I have Nate. Oh, there, there you are. Okay, I have. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on my boy, the dog biscuit. <laughs> I have um player names turned off for some reason. I don't remember doing that. Okay. <laughs> okay, I want to see the ones at Starshine just to look at their colors. Um, another okay. thing I'll say about walking horses, black is their most common color. And um, oh, I need to look at their history too and see if that's right. Oh, so much okay. to do. First of all, sooty buckskin as a color, not common at all with walking horses. Now I understand that walking horses have a very wide range in color, but not. I don't think they did it very well. They I'm gonna be no, honest. It... it looks bad. <laughs> looks bad i mean uh i mean uh, naturally i'm going to compare it to the sooty buckskin in red dead which is a not fair comparison but um no it is because red dead redemption is better red oh, dead redemption absolutely. will always be better uh, that's true but they're red dead also there's a lot of stuff about the red dead, red dead horses they got wrong i'm not even going to start with oh, that well, but um yeah <laughs> like i will say this is not a very common color for walking horses in fact i don't think i've ever seen a pure red walking horse in this color and i used to like live in show barns in tennessee so i've seen a few colors you know Mm -hmm. um black is absolutely their most common color it's not as common anymore because people are trying to breed for these fancy colors but it's you know everything looks good black too yeah the is this a painted red roan because if that's the case what the heck i the red roan looks weird but pretty at the same time it's kind of confusing i knew a red roan uh his name was chester he was an absolute nutcase but i've never seen a spotted red roan not even in walking horses red roan is a relatively common color oh he was a a strawberry roan actually this is more strawberry but um Hmm. it's a it is a common color i'll give him that but not the painted pattern i think they just had creative liberty with that which you know whatever um, I would like to say that if you ever step foot into Alicia online, the complaining that, you, that would come out of your mouth from like, all of the like skins, because they don't, they only have one um, model for the horses because no. the game had been discontinued for years. I'm not complaining. I still play it. Yeah. But the, the, the skins, like the coats, um, they're something. They oh are gosh. something. It's always constantly getting this ugly chestnut red. Well, like to explain <sighs> that, um, black is also the most dominant color in horses, and um, white is white is very very rare. It's called like leucism and something like that. It is mm-hmm. actually a very very recessive mutation in horses. It's not albinism. So there are three different colors that people consider white that's not actually white. There is black skin and white fur. That's just gray. There is pink skin, white fur, blue eyes. That's white, also known as leucism. And then there is albino, which is pink skin, white fur, red eyes. That is extremely rare. And they often don't live that long just because they come with a host of health issues, too. I think that might be what DJ is, but I don't know. I yeah, know. you have to I look at the color of his eyes. That's normally like the only telltale sign. I haven't red seen DJ eyes. forever. I haven't been to my cousin's farm in forever. And well. she is never out. You'll never, those horses are all the way in the back. You'll never oh, see no. them unless they're coming up for like dinner or something <laughs> like that. Fair enough. Um, uh, Blue Roan. <sighs> I don't know. It's okay, I guess. But that's, it is a color you can see in walking horses, just like any other horse, but it's, nah, it, it's pretty meh. Um, thinking about naming it Jasper, you know, I like liking, that name. like my character, like your just, character. Yep, yep. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm doing it. 
Should I? I'm should doing I, it. I'm doing it. I might just get one it. just to just to name it after a character. No, I'm not. I'm not stooping that low. Anyway, because um, I'm not getting one of these. Uh, <laughs> the black and white frame Overo. Mm-hmm. This is a spotted horse. Uh, Tennessee Walkers don't really come in this color. Yes, it is possible to have spotted horses, but this is one of those weird ones that it just no. <laughs> and so spotted horses to get into the spotted horse division, if you are showing walking take- horses, um, they have you have to have white on the underbelly and white under the chin. If they do not have that, they are not considered a spotted horse. So by those rules, I don't know if this overo would even be considered for the spotted horse division. It probably would, but by those rules, like you have to have white under your chin and you have to have white on your belly. This doesn't have white on either location. So I don't really know how the rules will be specified there. But this is I, SSO. I know there are like, no rules. <laughs> but see this is what I'm saying is that Star Stable is advertised for little girls as a game about horses and where do you think they get all the inspiration from these for these horses? Is little kids they find them and they suggest them to Star Stable. They say, "Hey, you know, this is a horse I've seen in the movies. This is a horse I've seen on TV. I want to see this horse in the game." Where do you think they got those ideas from? From seeing them. So, don't you think that Star Stable wants to create a product that reflects real life as accurately as possible to go into the uniqueness of the breed and to see to express why they are so different from one another? Star Stable has fallen so short and hasn't been able to do that at all within I the past remember, few horses. I specifically remember when they uploaded a video um, about, oh God, about, oh God, going to see this one horse that was in the making that it's already it's already been in the making it's been uploaded but um but i remember they like they went out to this farm they went out all of their way they went across the country for this damn horse so they could um get it all accurately what happened to that what happened to that i will say i mean they did the quarter horse extremely well i think the quarter horse is the most accurate to life horse they've ever done i have no nothing to say about the quarter horse whatsoever they've done such a fantastic job and i stand by that now that is one that i will always praise them for but all these other ones have just fallen so short um the dapple gray that is I don't like the dapple. They did. I can see they were trying to have artistic liberty, which, yeah, okay, whatever. It makes sense. Champagne, honestly, if I got one, I'd get the champagne. I really like that color. Um, That's another one that you don't really see on walking horses all that often. That's a very, very rare color. Dapple gray is kind of meh. Now, the thing I would like to look at now is the history. This is why I thought the horses were never going to get added, because the history of the Tennessee walking horse is super far-rooted in American history, and they are... They are such, it's just, there's so much to them. And looking at their description right now, it falls so short. They're saying, you know, flashy, smooth, okay, flashy, smooth gates. Yeah, that's true. Uh, They say, this breed is famed for its fluid movement and four-beat gait, a running walk. Yeah, that's true, but they don't trot. And all they say about the Tennessee Walking Horse history is that it was bred in the southern United States. And it was bred, it was meant for driving and farm work, above all, to be comfortable and short-footed riding horse. That's not true. Um, The Tennessee walking horse was actually called the plantation walking horse for most of its history until 1863 with the birth of this horse called Black Allen. Now, the plantation walking horse, they were meant to see the running walk. It's like a tightrope walk. They walk one foot directly in front of the other, and they are meant to walk in between rows of crops without stepping on them. The reason they do this, and the reason why they can do this running walk, and they can be so, just move so quickly in one direction without misstepping, without, you know, uh, trotting or anything like that. That's why it's so important that they don't trot, is because their whole job was to chase down escaping slaves and to catch them before they were able to reach the freedom line. Okay, that is the that, only I can see why they got rid of that. Exactly. I can... so that they, I understand. <laughs> they I understand why they didn't put it there, but this is just just to to tell everyone why they exist. The only reason these horses exist, they are the plantation walking horses. So, to cut all of that out, again, yeah, I understand why, but that's what they were for. So to just say like Oh, they were for farm work. No, they didn't do any farm work. That was for all of the draft horses. Draft horses do farm work 
walking horses keep everyone in line. So they were, again, that's like their whole history is they're, they're a plantation horse. They are not meant to trot. And that's the whole thing of why I'm so mad is because if they did even a little bit of research, they would understand why they're not supposed to trot and why they do not trot. Because when they trot, it throws off their, their four beat gait and it's no longer even, it's super choppy. It makes you bounce up and down all the time. Like trotting is terrible for these guys. And for them to just have it in the game, like it's okay, I, it just it's so disrespectful. Um, going back to my my email chain with these amazing oh, people. <laughs> so you know, I explained all of this. I was like, this is why they don't trot. This is what they do. You know, all of this stuff. I'm like, hey, you know, I'm speaking for the breed. I want you to represent them right. They say, uh, Star Stable does not support any harmful practices against our beloved horses, and therefore you will not see any similar practices of any kind in the game. Excuse me? Liars! Ex okay, I'm going to redirect your attention to the drop nose band bridles really quick, and <laughs> to the, um, yeah, drop nose band bridles, to the... Uh, the the snaffle or what is it the chain halters that they have in this game excuse mm -hmm. me okay yeah there's literally chain halters you know what chain halters do when you pull on it there's a chain that's ran that connects to the um to the lead the other part of the chain connects to the top of the halter so when you pull that chain it shoves the chain up into the bottom of their jaw and forces their mouth closed and turns their head so they pay attention to you. You're telling me that that's not abusive? You're telling me that putting a drop noseband bridle on your horse's pin bones and crushing their nose and potentially breaking their nasal cavity isn't abusive? What? And... Star Stable has fallen so much. I hate it. And but gated horses. At the same horses, time, I'm still here playing it. Exactly. Like, and gated horses, they naturally do a four beat gate. To say that you don't support harmful practices, first of all, yes, you do. If you're going to say that making your horse do a natural running walk that is what they are bre born and bred to do, that is their only purpose for existence, is abusive, jumping is abusive. Why do you support that? You're making a 2,000 pound animal, let, you know, let's just, let's say 1,000 pounds. You're making a 1,000 pound animal leap over something, let's say, let's say only two feet tall, going two feet off the ground and landing on pin bones. Their feet are so incredibly small and you're making all of that weight come down on those two legs. That it, it, do you wonder why you have to, you know, uh, inject jumping horses with steroids and with all kinds of like anti-authorized I did not know this I did not know this oh my gosh yeah like every single jumping horse like stadium jumpers and all that stuff they're all injected with stuff to make them stop hurting because they're in constant pain because they're not meant to jump horses are not meant to do you see them jump in the wild no unless they have no other option they will go around so it's like you do uh you do support harmful practices now I'm not saying take jumping out of the game. People love it. They don't understand enough about horses to know it's bad for them, blah, blah, blah. Like, sure, whatever. But in the same token, like, that's the same argument. Saying, oh, making a horse do a running walk is abusive? No, it's not. Just, you know, like, that's what I'm saying, is that if you're going to say that one thing is abusive, then say it's all abusive. You know, you can't sit here and say that this is abusive when all the other stuff you do is. I, I sent them a video and everything. I was like, look, that... Trust me, they do this naturally. This is a natural thing that they are supposed to do. They fell so short. And you know what they tell me? I corrected them, and I sent them, it was nine messages back and forth. So at the very end, basically what they tell me is, oh, thank you for the information. Um, we apologize for any uh, misrepresentation that you see. We'll take into consideration what you said and do better in the future. Um, take into consideration? Well, so, we'll think about it. Shut up! No way they said that. So yeah, no, they did. So what I am, what I am hearing here is, oh, we're too lazy to go back and f even though you have told us what we have done wrong, even though we have acknowledged that it is wrong, we're not going to fix it because it's too late in the process, and we're too lazy to go back and do anything about it. Another thing I saw people complaining about on their Instagram was that they carry their head very high. Um, they do carry their head high. It's a breed that. They do. Um, actually, when you're doing a running walk uh, with these guys, pulling back on the reins doesn't actually make them stop. It just makes them hold their head higher. Like they, they naturally have a very high head when they do this. Um, 
uh, to get them to stop, actually, uh, believe it or not, you have to put your hands together and put them low against the saddle, and you have to say, whoa. They will not respond to you pulling back on the reins. So, <laughs> will Star Stable That's ever so tell cool. you that? No. Yeah, they're, they are such that a fantastic so cool. breed. What they the are hell? a very cool breed. There's so much to them that people don't understand and don't appreciate. And this game that is about horses doesn't teach you any of it because they don't know. They just don't know. The only reason that I dig so hard on SSO is because I know they can do better. Like, I know that they are more than capable of making this game amazing. They're just choosing not to. They're choosing the lazy route. And I that's think the... after um, one of their staff members, I don't know which one it was, left, I think they just kind of fell. Probably. It was the, the one girl that was literally there all the time. Oh, was it like was Steph always... or something? It was uh, something like that. Uh, I, something like that. It was like Steph or Cassidy? I don't know. I, I know what you're talking about, though. Yeah. Don't ask me and... to remember names. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't either. Don't worry about it. Um, I remember she was the one who went and they studied that horse for their game. Yeah. She was the one that went out there. And actually, good job that she quit because Esso is falling badly. I yeah. I miss I miss old SSO, but that's just me being nostalgic and me missing being a child. Oh so. yeah, I have so much nostalgia for this game. It's the reason why I love it so much and keep coming back and keep pushing them to do better. Is because again, like I've seen how far they've come. I played this since what twenty fourteen, I think. Like oh yeah, yeah. So I I know how far they've come. I've seen it. I've watched them. I know that they can continue to move farther. It's just they're. They're choosing not to because they know that they can be lazy and still make money. I would like to thank all of you so much for watching and sticking around to the end. Uh, and thank you so much, Ivan, for joining me. We had a fantastic conversation after this that had gone on for quite a while. I appreciate you coming on and talking about this with me. So thank you all for, again, sticking around. And I appreciate that you listened to my rants for this long. And hopefully you learned something from this video. Thanks, guys.